Sea and Neighborhood by Princess Ilke von Rothschild Chapter 22 Scent of a Woman The fragrant intensity of the scent these flowers spread, the flowers of my city, all year round, in the city of eternal spring, at that place blew everything out of proportion. It was dense, intense, The flowers were old, the plants grown to thick stem, threading a vast amount of paradise birds. This was almost after the woodpecker home. This was 1984, the eve of 2005, 21 years later. M lost his money assuring partnership. With it, his office. We lost our home twice. He required an office. We, a house. This volcano, 11-story terrain between the winding old street offered both. A house plus an office for cheap. Cheap, old. The floors inclined on a steep, very steep hill made me feel like I was rolling out of bed into the abyss. Literally, and not much later, figuratively. There was an abyss. La Barranca. A precipice. The stairs are too small, M's father, the architect, blurted out in admonishing Brem voice. Never mind. I had a home we could barely afford. I had nature. Plenty. Nine stories of small, narrow stacks in which my hammock fit, nothing else, between the abundantly producing tangerine tree and a mixture crossbreed of lemon and some Peruvian unknown citrus to us just below the shaded terrace. And the terrace emanated below my teeny tiny office studio in which I prepared for my opera concerts and gave singing lessons. Independent entrance through the terrace door steps down the narrow passage from his office up above via our kitchen, passing the scented flowers down, down, independent. An old house with a tremendous array of old smells. That too. We lived. I didn't survive there. I perished. In the beginning, I lost my appetite for trying to be a vegetarian. My carrion boxes, always me, who was doing that job, whereas M sat big belly complacent in his office chair, changing the design of a logo pertaining to his new client's website for 200 plus times a slight of invisible stretch to the left. If I am done with this job, I stay without a client. What am I going to do next? The indigenous mentality of M, my then husband. The never-to-be-ending contracts stretched in time to the infinite, it seemed. A six days work turned into weeks, month. The money never lasted. The box is too heavy and my body craved protein. A chicken sandwich got me back to life. 2005 That year everything changed. The new to leave Mexico for good was written in the stars. I just didn't know it then, but I intuited great life ahead. My peripheral vision, my insight in between screams, scars, Abortion, hell. M had fought with his one and a half year younger brother over food as long as they could remember. Their father, who'd made them penguin eggs, gently decorated so the poor yet spoiled brats would eat them eggs. He invented the rule. Abel cuts the slices so Cain can pick his. The wording wasn't his, it's mine. After the lethony his daddy poured out in one of his famous books, an aberration, yet an obsession, dictated a literally half-achievement. The book was finished. I read it. It wasn't good. What is this clinging onto the biblical good versus evil story? I frequently wondered internally. If I wonder, it means something significant. Little I saw... Don Miguel Zacarias, the most famous movie director of all times in Mexico, didn't have ten 
children, but only nine officially. The second son, after M's rightfully renamed Miguel, wasn't his. He was the spit, the awful, the delinquent, the devil, Laura's dad, Cain after Abel. Taken on an unlawful adoption in return of Pope Pacelli's favor, Pacelli's son. Pope Pacelli, Pope Pius XII, born Eugenio Maria Giuseppe Giovanni Pacelli, was head of the Catholic Church and sovereign of the Vatican City State from 2 March 1939, Second World War is 1939 to 45, until his death in October 1958. Paul VI, original name Giovanni Battista Montini, Pacelli's son, reigned 1963 to 78. One of so many, Pacelli, who owned the world. He, the big man behind the screen. The head of the Vatican once, twice, they're also the head of his protection. Malta is his clan. A favor didn't meant a thing, nothing, yet the security, he wouldn't be killed. I was, in my then incarnation once, just like Mary to the evil day, ex of him before he went on to his Pope's business. I was murdered, thus the Second World War, engaged by the Catholic Church and preached in every single of its subsidiaries. You, my sheep, must defend your fatherland. It's patriotic. Do not be a sissy. It's what God wishes. War. In every single involved country, how many countries does the world has? He wished to kill the Jew. He was so jealous of, of Jesus. My talent. My art. My clairvoyance. All my heart made him feel tiny, forcing me under siege to marry him, never gave him the rank nor the status he was aiming for, his so wished self-esteem. No. SS, secret society, soldiers are first and foremost fucking the derriere as part of their upbringing. Initiation. Sadomasochists kick lick plenty shades of grey. Bondage. Insane. Kill the Jew. He commanded, and the whole world obeyed, being offered status in ranking military complexes. By the wish, since his sinking the Titanic hadn't killed me, he was counting on it, 1912, after I ran away from his evil, murderous class, after he killed my parents. He saw Picabia, my paintings, and he startled. She is still alive. Thing is, it was written in the Bible, and the Lord will come again, the Prince of Peace, to end all evil. That's him. Come again? First World War, 1914 to 18. Second World War, kill the Lord and live. Such the coffee shop again today. The obedient Second World War priests. Below in blue, three. Who is in charge? I perished that year 2005. My husband caused me so much pain for such a long time by his passive aggressive forcing me to listen to an ever ongoing narcissistic mix of confusion and attack, all to never take responsibility of his role, nor as a father neither as a husband. I developed two scars followed by a burn on my fesses in my car on the sun-heated seats. Honda, CRW. Such sensitive I am, and so down my immune system had gone by a nearly nervous breakdown. I lived through for him. 3.5 inches by 2. That's 7. I had it. In March, 31st, previous month to my birthday, I made the only decision I'd done for the seven years. I was a mother. I will take care of myself. A mother bringing children to the world has no life of her own. 
She is there solely for her children. Besides, I did the cleaning, the cooking, washing, plus studied and actually now performed too at my opera events. I will take care of myself, change my life from the inside. I bought myself a small birthday present, yet I got one for myself, not the others. Me, logical to what was the inevitable follow-up, had to be to leave M. For me, maybe, yet for the children. A mother has to make sure her offspring is okay. M wasn't a reliable father to them. His psycho impairments would have affected them severely by me not interfering. I had to get them away from him and his whiny clan. Not taking responsibility is never a choice. Kids copy. M copied from M, his father, and he from M, his father. Nothing else. Gotta go. I addressed in planning my exit. God laughed. Nothing I aimed for panned out as planned. More so, nothing was actually working. I hustled and pushed and ran, addressed, no way, even though I multitasked like crazy. Nothing made me make any money. I'd plateaued. I saw faces, the real faces of the people around me. Everything blew. The one educated woman I cared for as a friend showed her simplicity in being a cheat and a demeaning vulgar bitch. Unexpectedly to me, all went on a rant. I had been the outsider for as long as I was a foreigner, yet by marriage to a landsman and bearing his children, I became one of them, someone to despise and to challenge oneself against to, delusional. They competed and I was a thorn in their eyes. My strength was beyond their grasp. My power, I just couldn't care less. You don't really get it. I never competed nor envied anybody. No money, no fame. Not to be someone because I know someone. I knew plenty of people, important people. Nothing those contributed to my cause. Love. I am and was always just interested in love. Find my love. Get to love. Be interrelated with my love. Fulfilled with him. Real love, true love. I was finished with Mexico, done, finito, 2005. I am not stationary. I do not become a person because I inhabit a house in a certain area by redeeming attributes acknowledged but not recognized by others. I am not a buddy of my friends nor my friends' acquaintances. Therefore, I barely had friends. Of those, none competed. All were von Rothschild basking in the knowing I am there for them unconditionally. Just the realization makes anybody feel better. Zilke. Those saw me afar, I was alone, inside, in sight. I always approached the world like a child, immersed, open, curious, really looking, and thus I looked upon all like a wisdom-based bearded old man.